The Druze people are proud. Druze people are brave. Amazing. Strong. Adventurous. Today on Encounter Israel, we invite you to meet a unique people group within Israeli society. The Druze are an Arab religious minority who live in the northern regions of the country. Druze Israelis are hospitable, loyal, and especially dedicated to Israel and her security, often serving in the front lines of combat in the military. Being a minority, this community faces unique educational and financial challenges within Israel. Because of this, the ICEJ wanted to extend a helping hand to this important people group. About eight years ago, the Druze community approached us and asked for assistance in helping them provide better opportunities for their young people. So together with them, we began partnering to improve uh, different areas of the schools in the north of the country. That might mean uh, providing a library or a computer room that a school didn't have before, or helping uh, young Druze students with scholarships for higher education. My name is Bahij Mansour. Uh, I am the mayor of Osafia. We have in Israel 17 Druze villages. In every place, we have something that the Christian embassy made, library, scholarship, and many things. And uh, we think that uh, the Christian embassy uh, doing amazing uh, steps to improve the education system in our uh, community. Hi, I'm Maimun Azmi, I'm 40 years old. I'm from Isifia village, and I work as the Minister of Finance for over than 13 years. Thanks to the International Christian Embassy, I had the opportunity to go and study my first degree. And uh, this kind of scholarship helps us a, a lot. Uh, that helps me a lot. I know that uh, it was a major uh, thing that uh, made me succeed with my uh, studies, and uh, it opened a lot of doors for me. My name is Mara Mansour. I'm from Sofia village. I'm studying mathematics and Arabic language and literature at Haifa University. What motivated me to study high, higher education is that I believe education is a mean that uh, it op opens to us a lot of opportunities in life. The ICJ is passionate about education in Israel because education provides opportunities. And in Israel today, one of the biggest challenges they're facing is the large gaps between rich and poor. It's one of the largest gaps in the Western world. And education is one of the ways that we can help people bridge that gap. We want to thank the International Christian Embassy for their scholarships. That helps us a lot. I would say that uh, I, I don't know if I would finish my school without this uh, scholarship. I was always dreaming when I was at high school. I want to be a mathematics teacher. I really want to, to do that. But I was afraid by the, the financial status. Now I know that no one has to be worried as long as we have be, uh, generous people and organized such as the International Christian Embassy. So we thank you so much. <laughs> I would like to appreciate what the uh, Christian Embassy is doing for the Druze community. They um, help us to rise the level and to give the chance for many students to study in the universities, and that will help the Druze community for the future. The Druze community has given up a lot, they've sacrificed a lot, and I'd love to see their community flourish and thrive, both their men and their women. It's a traditional community, but increasingly we're seeing women enter uh, the job market, go and get higher education. I'd like to see them expand their opportunities. If many of the men are tend to serve in security positions after the army, Maybe now they want to become doctors. Maybe now they want to become lawyers. They want to enter into all the areas of Israeli life. I'd love to see that happen. I'd love to see us be a part of it. Mm -hmm.